And greetings, my peeps. Uh, today I'm here to talk about in proper encapsulation, or at least the best that we can probably do as far as the sinking of a hot tub in a recessed area, uh, i.e. a deck or a stone structure or anything like that. Let's take a look here. We're on site on a property day uh, with a pool and hot tub enclosure. Let's take a look here. Uh, turning Here we have uh, an older master spa, 0708 Circa, and um, we have it sunken in. So the homeowner, this was a decked area prior to this, but homeowner um, had uh, contractors come in and they did hardscaping on here, uh, you know, doing some blocks all the way around. While it is uh, encapsulated and sunken in, which obviously we hate uh, as technicians and it kills the hot tub, uh, in general, this is almost as best as you can get as far as the scenario goes, and you can probably see why I'm walking on the stuff. So when we cantilever over and we have a uh, system of wood, which is right here, um, this can be built out and have, oh, I'm not even going to, it's a little bit heavy, but it can have a, um, you know, two by four, two by four, you know, however you want to do it. Uh, set over as long as you have two sides in order to have a supportive structure uh, and it doesn't have to touch against the hot tub entirely but what the homeowner did or what the contractor did is they've sunk in in some manner the uh, four by fours into the ground two three creating a frame based system all the way across straight over now I would have probably have connected these two uh, together as far as the uh, sunk version to give it a little bit more stability uh, but I can't complain too much again they've sunken that into the side there which is you know pretty damn good it's actually awesome that they did this so this tub is serviceable uh without a doubt i mean it's a little bit of a pain in the ass with the drainage for the uh um the roof area but at the end of the day um this would pass muster and would not have um, issues in having a corrective repair uh issues i would have is that it's right up against the house and i can't get to that side and uh doing a corrective repair on that would be uh, extremely difficult to, to slide over. I mean, I would have some room, I guess. Uh, my only request would have been another foot or so over in this, this direction over here um, so that we could slide the tub. Hell, it would have just been great if it was centered in line with the cantilever system uh, starting in the corner and coming over. I just would have centered this tub um, in its entirety. So that's the only, and again, you could have used a supportive structure over there with a ledger board and hanging uh, brackets in order to get the, all four points, you know, one, two, three, and four, so that it, it would be uh, strong in order to walk around. But it's good. Um, I like it. It's better than not, and it'll preserve this hot tub uh, for corrective repairs later on in life and it also allows the homeowner to have ease of access of stepping into the tub without having to climb over and in so um, out of 10 I give us an 8 8 out of 10 I mean it was really good effort you don't see this uh, kind of forethought uh, out there and again over here is the same going along that direction um, again a, a complaint would be uh, the steps going in this direction it's just unnecessary um, what I would have done is left this side open or I guess I can drop back down into there if you really want to come up those steps. But, you know, aesthetics uh, aside, this is one of the more accessible tubs as far as uh, sinking in is concerned. And I do not like sinking in tubs uh, at all, as, as you can tell with the previous videos up there. So um, if you have any questions or concerns, comments, opposing points of view, uh, you can easily drop them in the comments section or call or text or however you like to do that. But um, 8 out of 10 out of this job. There you go.